Hi, I'm Sarah with Sarah's Accessory Styling and Premier Designs Jewelry. I am excited to share with you my process of getting my wardrobe summer ready and the tips that I used in updating my wardrobe without breaking the bank. I'm really excited to share with you how I made it and survived through this process. So let's go ahead and get started. Before updating my wardrobe for any season, I like to go ahead and look online for some inspiration. I found this really great article from Harper's Bazaar that I'm gonna link in the description below. In it, I found some great inspiration for the trends that are coming in for the summer. Trends will come and go, and style is something that stays with you. It is how you present yourself to the world. So I always try and make sure that I look at the trends that are coming in and decide whether or not they fit my style. Once I've done that, I go ahead and I raid my closet to see what I've already got, identify the gaps that I have, and then it's off to the mall. Here's what I found. So the button trend was any trend that had a skirt or dress with buttons running along the length of it. So I found this dress, which is a bit outside of my comfort zone, for about $25. This wasn't something that I had anything in my wardrobe already for, so it was something on my list that I was looking to push myself a little bit, set, a little bit outside of my comfort zone to see if it was a style that I really liked. I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below about the button trend, this dress, and any of the other pieces that I share with you in this video. When I saw the trend of matched sets, I was initially really excited. It was something I already had in my wardrobe. I love my jacket and skirt set, and I do wear it quite frequently. The jacket especially, and I find it's great to dress it up with the skirt or dress it down with a set of jeans. I don't wear the skirt as often, but I don't really get to wear this set as much because of how dressy it is. So while I was out shopping, I was looking for something that was a bit more casual, and that's when I found it. I found this adorable set with lemons, which I just love, in a skirt and a top, and it even has those big buttons down the side to fit in with the button trend. Now, again, this was a little outside of my comfort zone, and I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it, and I'd love to hear your comments below. This trend wasn't that far outside of my comfort zone. I love the color lavender. But when I went to go look at my wardrobe, I discovered that I didn't have anything that fit the bill. So while I was out shopping, I did find this lavender dress with this gorgeous snakeskin print that I really, really liked, but it's $130. And I'm trying to decide if that is a good investment in this piece, that is this something that I will really wear again and again, or something that I'll just wear for the season. Something else that I do want to address is that not everything you try on that is an expensive piece will fit you or will even be the best quality. And that is why I really encourage you to try everything on. As you can see here, I tried on this lavender dress and it didn't fit well, it was not lined well, and it was definitely unflattering. I'm really glad I went ahead and tried it on while I was at the store so that I didn't spend a lot of money out of pocket to bring home something that I would never wear. This is why I think it's so important that you always try everything on before you bring it home. I also found this really great lavender top, which at $70 is a little bit expensive for something that I'm not 100% sure that I'll wear all of the time. I love the delicate detail on the, on the blouse, as well as the fact it has a detachable camisole. In theory, I could separate the two pieces and wear them individually, but honestly, I know I probably won't. And again, for a $70 blouse, I want to be sure that it's something I'll wear all the time. And the delicate nature of this blouse may not actually keep up with my active lifestyle, chasing after a six-year-old and an eight-year-old all summer. Yellow was another trend that I was really excited about, mostly because it's something that I already have in my wardrobe already. I love how the bright colors can really liven up your wardrobe, and I already had this yellow tank top. This is a great piece, and it's a staple in my wardrobe in the spring, summer, and fall as I wear different pieces over it. In the summer, though, I spend most of my time outside keeping my arms and legs mostly covered, and that's why I like to have my denim jacket in the summer. It's a great piece that helps me move from being outside in the sun where I need to stay covered into heavily air-conditioned stores where I tend to get cold anyway. Polka dots have always been another snazzy favorite of mine. So when I read in the Harper's Bazaar article that they were coming back for this summer, 
I was really excited to become acquainted with an old friend again. This dress served me really well last summer. It's a great lightweight sundress and I love the black with the white polka dots. It's a little bit casual and a little bit dressy and I can either dress it up with a blazer to go to a business meeting or I can dress it down for a day of fun with the family. The white dress is something that I struggle with as somebody who is really super prone to spills and accidents. I have this dress in my wardrobe already from last year when we were going to a number of fancy dress events. Um, and this dress served me really, really well. And I still didn't manage to keep it clean. And it was only through the godsend of a book about how to get rid of stains that I was able to keep it clean. A lot of the dresses that I've seen in this trend have been very flowy, summery, more uh, casual sundresses. And I'm still deciding if adding a white dress like that to my collection or to my wardrobe is something that I really want to do simply because I struggle with the color white. But this is a great trend for the summer. White is a great color because it's flattering for just about everybody. And it gives a really light and airy feel, especially on those hot summer days. I really encourage you to check out some of the really pretty dresses that you can find at just about every major store. I wasn't able to find something for every trend I found in the article. I have a bit of a confession to make. For someone who loves clothes and who likes jewelry, I don't actually enjoy the process of shopping. After about 15 or 20 minutes, I start to feel discouraged, frustrated, or sometimes bored, and I just want to move on to the next thing on my to-do list. So some of these trends are things that did not make themselves readily available to me as I was out shopping. The first one was cherries. I didn't see anything with a cherry print while I was out, although there were some things with really pretty prints like the lemons I was wearing earlier. I didn't find anything with cherries that really stood out to me. But my girlfriend, the pinup vanilla, she's fantastic, and she has an awesome dress in cherries that you can see here. She just looks amazing in. So I might just have to try and dig a little bit further to see if I can find something for myself. Another trend that I did not find anything for was the puff sleeve. Now, it could be argued that the lemon top I was in earlier does have a puffed sleeve, but this isn't really something that's really in my style. Again, this comes down to style versus fashion. Fashion is something that come and goes, but style is what stays with you and how you present yourself to the world. And I personally don't want to present myself to the world in puff sleeves. The last trend was ring-toed sandals. Now, shoes and I have a complicated relationship. I have a large foot. It's a little bit wider. So finding ladies' shoes that fit me comfortably is sometimes a challenge. Normally, when I find a pair of shoes, like my Sam Edelman's, I wear them again and again and again, and I just keep buying them when they wear out. So he can't stop making this flat because <laughs> I absolutely adore them and I wear them all the time. There are other shoes that I do the same thing with. I've had one pair of black boots for years. I think they're older than my son. I just keep having them resold and I just keep taking care of them simply to avoid having to go shoe shopping to buy new shoes. But after I saw some of these pictures of these really gorgeous and blingy ring-toed sandals, I may have to rethink this and go out and see if I can find a pair for myself. When all was said and done, I spent about $270, which is a little bit outside of what I had planned to spend. But there were so many different pieces that I not only wanted to show you guys and see what you thought, but also so I could try, th I tried them on in the store and then I wanted to bring them home and see how I felt about them once I got them here. I'm always really careful to make sure I know each store's return policy so I know that I can get those pieces back to the store in time if I decide that they're really not for me. One of the things that I think I really learned about this particular shopping season is that there are a lot of trends that I really do like, but just because it's a trend that I like doesn't necessarily mean that it's something I need to add to my wardrobe. When I'm adding in new pieces, I wanna make sure I do it thoughtfully. These are pieces that are going to stay with me not just for this summer, but hopefully for summers to come. So I want to make sure that they share a classic style that I enjoy, that even though they're a trend, will continue to fit with the things that I wear. I really look forward to hearing what you have to say and hear about what you liked in the comments below. As always, I want to thank you guys for taking the time to go with me on this journey. If you're still here, I appreciate you. Thank you. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe. There are other videos here on my channel that you can definitely check out about jewelry and style and fashion. 
Please don't hesitate to let me know if there's something you would like to see. I would love to make your requests a reality. Don't forget to leave a little bit of sparkle wherever you go, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.